Hello, my name is Chris Hammond. I'm the director of training for .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, I'm going to talk to you about the permissions grid you'll find within .NET Nuke. Now we're going to be taking a look at the permissions grid for both page permissions and module permissions. In the demo I'll be doing will be using the .NET Nuke Professional Edition, so the permissions grid will be a little bit more advanced than the permissions grid you'll find within the .NET Nuke Community Edition. But I'll talk about the differences as we go through that process. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over here to a machine that's running .NET Nuke Professional. Current version is 5.6.0. Now I'm currently logged in as an administrator, so I have admin rights on this particular portal. Now the first thing we'll do is take a look at page permissions. So we're going to go ahead and edit the existing page. So I'm on the home page, and from the control panel here I can click on the edit icon. Now when you click on the edit icon, that's going to take you to the page settings. Now in a future video, we'll go into further details about page settings, but we do want to go ahead and look at the permissions grid here on the page settings. If you scroll down, in the middle of the screen here, we'll find our permissions grid. Now within .NET New Professional, you'll find that the permissions grid actually has 10 different options available to you. Where in the community edition of .NET Nuke, you'd find that it would have two options. Those options being view and edit. Well, within the professional edition, you can see we have view, add, add content, copy, delete, export, import, manage settings, navigate, and full control. Full control is essentially the edit option in the community edition. Well, what we can do within our page permissions is we can control who has the ability to perform or, or utilize the various actions available. First one being view. We can control who has the ability or the permissions to view this page. As you can see, the current configuration for the home page here allows that all users have view permissions. Well, all users are anyone who's browsing the website. It doesn't matter if they're logged in or they're not logged in. Registered users is a role within .NET Nuke. Anyone who has an account on a .NET Nuke website should be in the registered users role. So if we wanted to restrict this page only to be visible to people who are logged in, they would be in the registered users role, and we could go ahead and check the box there to apply view permissions for that role. Now, because we have all, all users checked, registered users by default have access to this role or this view permission as well. Now, when you check a box, it goes to a green image here. If you check it again, it actually goes to a red deny permission. And basically what we would do here with this permission configuration is we would be saying that only people who are not logged in are able to view this page because we're denying registered users the ability to view the page. Now we wouldn't likely do that for a home page, the main page of a website. So I'll go ahead and check the box again and the red icon, red image goes away. Now the other roles that are listed here are subscribers, another default role within .NET Nuke. You can find out more information about that role in our role overview video. And then we have a test role, which we also created during that role overview video. Then the translator role for this particular portal for the English language. And then a role called unauthenticated users. This essentially says that we want to create a page that only people who are not logged in have view permissions. So if we unchecked the all users option and checked the unauthenticated users option, then this page would only be visible to people that are not logged in. This setting right here is effectively the same as checking all users and then denying registered users. So there's multiple ways you can go about assigning your permissions. Now with .NET Nuke Professional, you have the ability to more granularly control the page permissions. So we can control which users or which roles can add pages underneath of this page which roles can add content or add modules and edit the modules on this page, which users can copy from this page, which users can delete, export, or import from this page, who can get into the manage the page settings, and then who can actually see this link in the navigation. This is different than the view permissions, so you can actually give someone navigate permissions which would then show the page in the navigation. But if they don't have view permissions, they wouldn't be able to view the content on the page. And then full control, like I said, full control is essentially the same as the edit option in the community edition of .NET Nuke. Now within our permissions grid, we can go through and check these boxes in any kind of order and permissions we would like to go. 
So I'll undo these red uh, or the checks I just put in here. Now, in addition to applying permissions to roles, you can also apply permissions to individual users, at which point you can type in a username and click on add. Now, you do have to type in a valid username, and I've created a test user in a previous video. So you can see that user shows up here in its own little permission grid. And we can now define permissions on the page for a particular user. So I'm going to go ahead and click on update, and that would update our page permissions. Now, beyond page permissions, you can also control permissions at the module level. So from a module perspective, we would have to go to the Actions menu for a module. And from the Actions menu, we would go into the Settings option. Now, again, in a future video, we'll go into more detail about the various module settings. But within the permissions grid here, you can see we have a very similar layout to the page permissions. But we have a couple of different options available to us. The first option here is View. Then we have edit content, delete, export, import, manage settings, and full control. Well, the view column right now is locked. That means it's inheriting the view permissions for this module from the page. So whoever has view permissions on the page will also have view permissions on this module. If we want to more granularly control the permissions for the module, we can uncheck the view permissions from page option. And then the locks go away. And now we can define which roles have access to this, this particular module. So we could go through and we could place modules on a page that are more restrictive than the page permissions. Typically, you're going to leave inherit view permissions checked and just allow modules to inherit their view permissions. Now, beyond that, we can control who can edit the content in the module, who can delete the module, who can export or import from the module, who can get to these module settings, and then once again, full control. Full control is like the edit option again in the Community Edition. So the module settings within .NET New Community Edition would show a view and an edit column. Professional Edition gives you this granular control. You can also, once again, apply permissions based on a username. So we could type in a username here, click on Add, and then Control Permissions for that user. Now if we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of the page, we'll click on Update and update our module settings, and that would control our permissions for that particular module. Now you can control permissions individually for every module on a page or every module on, on any page within a .NET Nuke website. I hope you found this overview of page permissions useful. If you'd like to see more information about .NET Nuke, please feel free to check out our .NET Nuke training page under the Resources tab on .NET Nuke.com or you can access it using the shortcut URL here. Please remember though that that shortcut URL is case sensitive. On our training page, we offer a variety of free, free videos. We also offer paid instructor-led training, as well as custom on-site and custom online training. Again, this is Chris Hammond with the .NET New Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.